Salut à tous, my name is Marion Buricatu. I am a French artist and I lived here in the United States since 2001. This video is about art and how to impress your friends and family at the museum with three easy facts. This video is a sequel of Mark Rothko, a color field painter. But this video is special because I'm giving you seven awesome trivia questions about Mark of Rothko. So like that you can impress impress even more your friends and family at the museum or just, you know, have fun at your next family dinner. Here is a painting by Mark Rothko. It is entitled and it was painted in 1955. It's an oil on canvas and it is at the National Gallery of Art. But wait, it is currently on view in the exhibition Reflection at the Museum of Fine Art in Boston until July 1st, 2018. Okay, so let's get started with my victim of the day, my friend Donald. Hello Donald, how are you? Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you Are too. you ready for a pick from, for question about Mark Rothko, a color field painter? Sure. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Question number one. Mark Rothko was part of a group of artists called color abstract painters, color theorist, color field painters. Uh, color theorist? Color theorist. Well, honestly, I think it would have been more appropriate, but no, it's color field painter uh. because their painted paintings look like a field. Okay, question number two. They used a painting technique called all other technique, distributed technique, smooth technique. Uh -huh. uh, smooth? Smooth tech technique? Well, you know, again, it couldn't be said, but because my questions are tough. Okay, uh, it's the all over technique because they are painting on the whole canvas. Okay, now question number three. They use a color theory called warm and cool theory, tension theory, push and pull theory. Push and pull theory? Bravo. Very good job. Very good job. Because, you know, the, uh, the warm color push uh, towards the viewer and the cool color pull away from the viewer. Okay, now question number four. Mark Rothko belonged to an avant-garde art movement called Colorism, Abstract Expressionism, or Mad Scientism? Abstract Expressionism? Okay. Yes, bravo. And because it's a complicated word to say, they have a little nickname, and the nickname is the Abex. I think it's easier to say. Okay, question number five. To be part of our reality, Mark Rothko wanted his paintings to be outside, Unframed, touchable. Unframed? Bravo, bravo, bravo. Okay, question number six. Mark Rothko color field paintings were mostly made in which decade? 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 Decade, okay. Uh, 1950s, 1980s, 1910s. The 50s? Bravo, you're doing very well, Donald. Okay, question number seven. What does Mark Rothko want you to experiment in front of his painting? pleasure of the colors, the understanding of his culture, or the emotional response. The pleasure of colors? Well, that's my, my reaction really, but really what he wants to get is an emotional response. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Tano. Right. So please print this question and their answer and bring your friends and family at the museum or just have fun. Nice chatting with you. Abonne-toi, which means subscribe to my channel. Have fun and see you at the next video.